I thought I'd share with you how I go about doing a painting. This painting here, called Sacred Ceremony, um, is from when I was down in Singer Island. And as we were doing the fire ceremony, I knew I had to paint this. But when I looked at the pictures, uh, this painting didn't exist in the photo. I had to take about 10 different photos and put it together into a sketch. Uh, people ask me all the time, how do you get started on a painting? Um, which I still to this day find intimidating when I see a blank canvas sitting in front of me. Um, I'm also a writer and I feel that same exact way when I see the blank paper in front of me. So um, really it's just like having the courage to just begin. So I usually sketch my um, idea in thumbnails and then I'll just get started. So this is going to be a swimming pool with the night sky. Creation. My studio waits patiently for a creative soul to come and play. Slowly I enter and sit and stare at the blank vastness of white that lies before me. Art spirits conspire around me, eager to help. It is time to create what my heart and soul once dreamed of. My mind chimes in. You cannot do this. Oh, but my heart and soul know differently. You can create anything. Just allow, my soul whispers. Can I quiet my mind? Or maybe weave my mind and soul together to work as a team? Just allow. I let go and pour a rainbow of colors onto my palette. My soul and the art spirits speak to me in a faint yet powerful voice, giving me clues. I pick up my brush and allow something spectacular to move through me. A love affair has begun with this blank vastness of white. I feel as close to God as one can get. Allowing, creating, playing, loving, being. But mostly surrendering. My brush has descended deep into my soul and I have created a story on something that was once a blank canvas. People always ask me how long it takes to do a painting and that can vary. Um, and I have two stories and two paintings to show. This first one called Children Matter um, took me 10 months to paint. Uh, I did it back in 2003 and there were a few reasons it took me so long. First of all, it was the first big painting I had done since high school. First people I have done since high school. Um, and I also had two toddlers running around. Um, so I couldn't always get to paint. Um, and th there's a lot of detail in it. Story number two. Um, this painting took me about less than two hours. Um, I was taking a class with Tosha Silver at the time, author of Outrageous Openness, Letting the Divine Take the Lead. And um, our homework assignment was to throw a coconut. It's an ancient Indian tradition, I believe. Anyway, it's just to release energy, stress. Um, Tosha says the ultimate goal is to throw the coconut and release yourself to God and his plan. So I threw, I threw a coconut, came home and started this painting and was done in two hours. It's smaller than the other one, but still, I usually, I usually can't get a painting done that quickly. I feel like it just flowed out of me. It's hard to believe. I started out with a blank canvas and now many layers later I have a finished painting titled Starry Night at Silverside. 